Nobody threatens anyone at Mob Wives, apart from me with my boss, who one day I will overtake. Pickpocket interaction. I can rob folks. And are you guys kidding? You're both sat there while your children starve? Oh my gosh, you're so bad at this. I love it. No. No freaking way. Hello, my little peaches. Welcome back to another episode of Not So Berry. And I am starting this episode in cuss. Why am I starting it in cuss? Because we need to do a little change as we kick off this episode. So last episode, we aged up the twins. We have Coral, who I'll be calling Coral, like the walking dead for the foreseeable, f in fact, for his whole life. Just want to get that out there so you guys know it's going to happen. Coral, he's going to be Coral. And we also have Blossom, Commander and the lead. There. That is from Powerpuff Girls and she's called Blossom. So I probably will be doing that as well. I'm just making sure we're all on the same page. So they were the twins that were born last episode from Keenon Fires, who is also Keenon Clem. And that was their resulting baby. Now, I left the game to do its thing when it came to the blend of DNA because I wasn't using custom skin tones on either of them. I specifically have been using in-game skin tones because previously I used custom ones and what it meant that every time I had a baby, I had to try and like do science to work out like what the babies would look like based on their skin tone. I'm like, this is great. We're actually in game. I shouldn't need to do this. However, and I was recording this video late. So I'm like, pow, CC, CC, done. Video, done. Gotta go visit a wedding venue where I've got to drive for three hours tomorrow, first thing. So I was like, let's just get the video out there. So I overlooked, and I apologize for overlooking, the fact that the twin skin tone actually doesn't make a great deal of sense. Now, if I go onto their face scenes, their skin tone isn't even listed on here. So it's kind of vague. I can definitely see Keenan. He has more of like an olive skin tone. He's more like yellow base, I would say. I can see a bit of Keenan in there, but I don't think there is much of Clem in there either. So what I'm going to do at the first the start of this episode is using the wonderful power of Photoshop. I am going to blend the skin tones together and see what the result is. I was umming and ahhing over whether to do this because I'm more than happy to do it. But then a few people were saying that, you know, genetics don't always work like that. I'm actually fairer than both of my parents or I have parents that are black or mixed and I'm fairer than both of them. But the fact is that we got representation with Clem and you guys are right in that saying that we don't want to lose that representation in one episode. I completely hear you. I actually, I'm going to nip into Clem's skin tone real quick because Clem is listed here. It's actually a new skin tone I added. I believe Clem was originally here. So the thing is, Ty, I would say Ty was mixed. He wasn't particularly dark skinned. So what we resulted in was when we had Clem, she ended up a bit fairer than I initially expected. So whilst we were aging up one time, I actually changed out Clem's skin tone and like gave Clem a little bit of a darker skin tone. I actually think like she looks great now. I also changed her nose. I don't know if you guys noticed this, but there is like a very thin nose passed down through all my gens and you noticed it a lot with Lila. I actually made Clem's nose wider and I changed the shading on her nose as well because it was requested that, you know, Clem didn't get Ty's nose, which was a shame because Ty had a great nose. Clem actually got Lila's nose, but not only did she get Lila's nose. She actually got an even tinier version of Lila's nose and I felt like my noses were just getting smaller and smaller and smaller and eventually there would be no nose at all. So I actually changed out Clem's nose as well. Not sure if any of you guys noticed but I did do a skin tone and nose update at one point and I'm really happy with Clem's appearance. I don't want to change her appearance anymore. Yes it would have been great if she'd have got a few more Ty's features but it would mean me now completely changing a character whose appearance you know and love so I'm not going to do that. What I've done is I've taken a screenshot of her skin tone on here. Also going to go on to Keenan and this was a confusing thing about Keenan. When I went into his skin tone, his wasn't listed at all. And I'm like, but you definitely have an in-game skin tone. That is not a custom skin tone. I have a lot of custom skin tones, but you don't have one of them. And then I clicked, is it this one? No, it's not that one. It is maybe this one. Nope, not that one. <laughs> give me a sec, give me a sec. Panic stations. Okay, that one. So look, I click that on, click it off. His skin doesn't change. That is his skin tone. I don't know why it didn't have the green box, but I've added the green box. There's actually no future babies from this line because there can't be. But now he's set to a proper skin tone. Okay, so I've got both of those plopped into Photoshop. Now I am gonna grab a little bit of each of them. So we'll grab this one first. Plop this here. So that's Keenan's skin tone. And then we'll grab some of Clem's skin tone. We shall pop it alongside it. And then I'm gonna switch the brush down to 50% opacity. And if I put 50% of Clem's skin tone onto Keenan's, we end up with this. And if I put 50% of Keenan's onto Clem's, we end up with this. As you can see, this and this 
are exactly the same color. So basically, that is what skin color, if you were to take 50, 50, 50, which whatever, we'll take 50, 50, that is what the skin tone would look like. So this is science time. What I will do next is I will go back to Sims, back to the color wheel, and then I'm going to grab that, and then I'm going to color match, and I've already tried a few of these, as you can see here. I'm going to color match the skin tone that I've got in Photoshop to whichever it would be on here. Big brain time. So when I added them in here, what I did is I basically just grabbed like a tiny bit of each of them to see what is like the most similar. So as you can see, these ones are all pretty similar, but they're a little bit too red, I would say. This one felt really similar, like the most similar of all. That one's pretty similar as well, but if these are too red, this one's too gray. Like that one there just feels the most similar to me, but a little bit too dark potentially. So I went back into Sims. Basically, I recorded this once, but when I flipped, that's Photoshop, it stopped recording. So I have, to, I have had to do this many a times now. I figured this one is probably going to be our best bet. Yes, it's darker, but it feels somewhere in the middle, I would say. So it's darker than a true 50. It will be slightly more clem skin tone, but I think that's totally fine. So that is this one here. So what I did is I originally put this on the Sims and to actually, it's onto the kids and to actually match the skin tone to be the same. So this is with with the skin tone changed. I got it here. That is the most similar hex or whatever value to this bit, this lighter color. But when I lined them all up, like literally I took this really seriously. I'm like, this is the forehead. This is the chin. This is the cheek. I still felt like the skin color looked too similar to Keenan's. So rather than trying to match it perfectly, I'm just going to go for it as it is. So that's this skin tone right here. And I'm even tempted to go like a little bit darker just to make make sure that it's somewhere in the middle. So if I grab that now, I don't know. I feel like that is more middle than that. That looks more similar to me. This one, they look very similar. I mean, that probably is in the middle, but I'm thinking of doing that. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, I think that's somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna add that as a new skin tone. So that saves here. Now I can apply it to Coral. The other thing I've already done is I've nipped in and changed their skin details. There we go. Changed their skin details already so that the pinks on the cheeks was really pinks. So I've, I've dialed that down and I changed their lip color and I also darkened the eyebrows. The other thing as well is obviously Clem has curls, but Keenan has like deadly straight hair because his style before I changed it to the bun bun was actually one of my favorite male hairs. This one which is very straight hair. Like that is so, oh, I love him with his blonde, his blonde hair, but we'll keep the bun bun for now. So what I've done is it's really difficult. And I was looking through trying to get like a hairstyle for Coral that was like curlier than this, but stays pink. Cause we don't know who's going to be the heir yet. And you just like, I mean, I probably wouldn't have used that one anyway, but they all just come in black. This one goes to blonde, but like that is actually tighter than Clem's hair. So that doesn't really make any sense. This one doesn't, I mean, that could have worked, but it doesn't come in pink. It turned into be like, I was really struggling to get actually curly hair. This one just comes in black. Like it's the same issue I've had so many times in that it's hard to make good curly hair in Sims if you want alpha hairstyles. And I'm not going to switch to Max as much. And then people were saying, well, just don't use pink hair. But I'm like, but I've done that since the start. Like that is the way I want to play this challenge. So I'm still going to do that. So what I've done instead is I've updated Coral's hair to look like this. So it's short, but it's already curling quite a lot at the front. And maybe when we get older, we'll be able to have more uh, styles with more curls in them. And with Blossom's hair, it's longer than I originally wanted with a toddler. But I wanted to at least show like that the hair is naturally quite wavy. And maybe with styling and hair care when she gets older would have more of a curl to it as well. But I guess this is like dried out the bath sort of probably by Keenan vibes for both of them right now. I also changed out their eyes as well because I just, I didn't like the eyes that much. And the other thing as well is, what's really frustrating, these are like my favorite eyes to use and all of the other colors have so much color to them. But for, for some reason, orange just doesn't. Orange just does not have a great deal of color, but whatever, I'm still gonna use it because it's my favorite eyes. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the updates. So there's a skin tone update, a skin details update and a hair update for both of the twins. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And let's get into the game. Okay, so here is how they look in the wild outside of Cuss. Just bopping, bopping away because my kids sure love to do a little bop. Boppity boo in here. <laughs> and uh, boppity boo in here as well. Very adorbs still. And we only just became toddlers. So we still have five days left until we age up. Now, Keenan is feeling such shared sadness. Somebody near you is also feeling sad. Oh, okay. They're in this like awkward clash of absorbing each other's feelings. Oh, you're not meant to do that. That is against the rules. You're meant to replace that. 
so that we lose the money. It's just my way of keeping them like poor whilst they are here because I have to do it as part of the challenge. But yeah, Clem is sad because Keenan didn't want babies. Oh no, because I took away fertility because I don't want to have many more twins. And then Keenan sees that Clem is sad and then he's sad and it's just like a sad tornado. But also you're feeling tense from your cooped up. You love the out- Oh my gosh, you've got to stop repairing stuff, babes. Complain to the landlord. You're also sad because you're cooped up. You can go out for a walk. Vixen, oh my gosh, Vixen, what are you doing all the way over here? Why don't you take yourself on a little gander, a little walk all the way here, and you can go and leash poor Vixen and get them all nice and back home again. So, oh, you can open this as well. So that we can give her a bath because Vixen went on the run. And it's also so tense time. The fun is low. The rats are out. The cockroach is out. It's a needs TLC apartment, so it's always going to be a little bit of a stressful time. And oh my gosh, as if our apartment was bad enough, the children are wrecking it. Can I not nip that behavior in the bud? Please stop that blossom. Very naughty wrecking. Can I tell them off yet? Why can't I tell- why can't I tell it off? Oh, I can't give you a bath. Can I bathe you in a sink? I can bathe them in sinks, I think. Yeah, yeah, okay, I can bathe them in the sink. The other thing I'm, like, quite aware of is the fact that Pink Generation is meant to have this really good writing skill. So I'm gonna work on the kids, like, creativity whilst they're youngst- youngins. Youngsters as well. Oh, the landlord's just- just gonna hang around, probably eat our food and stuff. Great, I love that. Also, Keenan's decided he likes spooky music. I don't. I'm just gonna go ahead and switch this off. And one thing that I think that Clem would do just to help with making it easier to look after the kids is I think we'd turn on kids TV. Oh, that's kids radio. Wait, 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 where's TV? Here's TV. Just to like help keep the kids entertained. She's not actually washing them in the sink. I'm asking at her, but she's not actually doing it. So that's grand. Can I wash Vixen in a sink as well? I do not know. Oh, there we go. At least one of the children was washed. That's great. And mail has also been delivered. And we also have hungry children. Okay, mail. Please don't be bills. Please don't be bills. Please don't be bills. I have $34 in the- You look like you just delivered me some bills. Is that what just happened? Oh, I got some mail, but it's not bills. Okay, brill. Potty training skill. <gasps> look at you using your potty all on your own. Is that because you're independent? You're independent because your parents are in an illegal crime gang. So they don't have that much time for things like potty training. Some of you guys were saying you should put Keenan in the business career. But I'm not gonna do that because I'm gonna say that what is the criminal career? They tell their kids, oh, it's just the business. It's just the family business. And oh, okay. Hi, Keenan. I hope this isn't weird, but I think I've started to think differently about you. Old person, who are you? An elder? Oh, dude, that's so weird. I'm glad you're dying tomorrow because that's weird. Oh, that is weird. But yeah, we've joined a gang because it was the quickest way to get cash in the city. And God help us, we didn't do that good at school. So there wasn't that many prospects for us when we moved to the city. Other than to fall into the neighbor's crime gang. Or maybe the neighbor forced us to join the crime gang because our neighbor hates us and is also our boss. So we work for mob wives. And I think Keenan also works for mob wives. Yeah, we're both working together in the same gang. So yeah, it was not an ideal scenario by any stretch. But yeah, we just, what we call it is, oh, my beautiful onion bagels, just one left. There's a cleanse. What we basically call it is the family business, just so that people don't go around asking questions. And Clem likes junk food. What is class of junk food? I'm assuming pancakes. Let's get some pancakes. So Clem also wants to get engaged to Keenan. Keenan, who is just literally hanging on by the seat of his pants, like children, babies, Actually having a little bit of a panic into himself. Also, oh, we've got Liquid Rush. That's what we got as our gift from Vixen. I'm gonna give that to Clem because she likes junk food. In fact, you can give it to her as a gift. What a gorgeous, gorgeous romantic gift. And hey, Clem, it's Tessa. Do you want to hang out tonight? I'm not going to the Bluffs. I've got children, but Tess, you are more than welcome to come here. How are you with kids? Can you look after them for me? Because that would be great. And I am sad. Oh, she's still sad about the fertility thing. I think that's going to go on for a while. And feeling hurt from someone nearby. Is that Keenan? Oh, no, it's not Keenan. Who is it then? Oh, <gasps> had a child together. Oh, that's cool. We've got a lot going on with soulmates, boyfriends, co-workers, children. And you think he's a hoi. So all in all, pretty good. Oh! <gasps> You are not eating my final onion bagel. You are not, Keenan. Do you understand what onion bagels mean to me? And you're just there eating the final onion bagel. I, I can't believe this is happening. Go to the bathroom and lock the door. If you hear anything, run. Are you listening? You're saying that to somebody in a, in a mob? Oh my gosh, quick, get to the bathroom, get to the bathroom. Lock the door, lock the door. Is it a prank? Have you just pranked me? I am in a gang, so I will be taking that very seriously. But Keenan has just eaten my final onion bagel, so I will be unpinning, get engaged to Keenan until you can 
make me a beautiful onion bagel. I can't believe you've just done that. Do you not understand what onion bagels mean to Clem? Like, this feels like a gross misunderstanding of your girlfriend here. I'm just saying. And Vixen looks very happy to be back home with your fleas all over my sofa. Great. Just online with this family, kind of being Rex. Oh, and the other one is out here wrecking in the hallway. You are meant to be creative. So this is kind of, it makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. So we're eating in the bathroom and let's just lock that door. Is anything gonna happen? No, because we were just pranked, weren't we? Okay, I'm not being funny, but you don't prank somebody in a gang. Like, that is just not... That's not sensible behavior, Jill. That is not sensible behavior. I'm looking for somebody to get into a fight with. And you've just volunteered yourself, Jill. Jill, why don't you come and hang out at the flat? Thanks, Jill. And Keenan, if you wouldn't mind feeding the children. Oh, the kids are all over it. Look at them with their little pancakes. Little pancake twins. Very cute. Also, I'm kind of like seeing who you guys think would work as the heir. Right now, it's anyone's game. It's anyone's game. I will say that the next heir is meant to be quite soft gentle. It takes them to like a midlife crisis to decide that they don't want to be in the family business anymore. Either of them, I think it could work with. Literally either of them. And is this Jill? Okay, Jill, why don't we just take it? Come, come over here, Jill. Rude introduction. I feel bad, but I've got to get into fights. I've got to reach level four of the criminal career. Wait a minute, what the? I'm level two. Why have you not given me that? Oh, because it's just not out of one. Okay, fair. Okay, Jill, I'm going to take it outside the apartment because I've got babies now. So don't really want to be fighting in front of the babies. But why don't we go around here? This is no one ever goes here. Let's go here together, Jill. And yeah, I've got to try and get into five fights. So I need to make myself some enemies. I got to fight. I've got to be a vicious sim. I'm also quite tired sim right now, but toddlers will do that to you. Get here, Jill. Oh, Jill's already there. I'm sorry, Jill. Am I keeping you from a phone call? Let's instigate some fighting with Jill. You're the one who pranked me. You told me to get into a toilet. Are you kidding? You realize how badly that could have gone? I work at Mob Wives and nobody, nobody threatens anyone at Mob Wives apart from me with my boss who one day I will overtake. But for now... You, getting, you are getting your ass beat, okay? <laughs> so that's another fight done. Two fights out of five. Two fights out of five. Not bad. I've still got a load of people I could get into a fight with. I fought Hey Arnold. I fought Jill. Caitlyn's my boss, so as much as I want to fight her, everyone hates their boss. But she'll probably get me killed, so I can't do that. So I just gotta wait for somebody else to annoy me. What I will do, I don't know if I need to have quite a lot of sworn enemies. So... Hey, Clem, can I join the Parijits? <laughs> No, dead no, biological father, you may not. <gasps> and did I get beaten up? Oh my gosh, did I get beaten up? I don't have a black eye or anything. Who won that fight? Did I just get beaten up? <gasps> no, I can't be losing fights. Okay, I'm gonna declare Jill an enemy and just have a rematch. Cause I think that will give me like another fight. I could just beat Jill up three times. Like, pew, pew, pew. We are now enemies. I think I lose this fight. I don't think I can beat Jill. How can you not beat someone up who's called Jill? Jill is like the nice woman who's like your friend's mom's playground in the playground. That's Jill. That's Jill. If Jill's beating you up, you need to work on your, you need to do some strength training, babes. You got to do some strength training. How are you ever meant to reach the top of the criminal career if you are getting beaten up by Jill? Oh my gosh, I can't see them. Oh, who won? Ah! Triumphant. Okay, brilliant. I did win that fight, but I am a bit worried about your ability to beat to win fights, that's very concerning. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use her to get my final two fights out the way because there will be more fights, but it just makes sense. Now I realize I can just chain them like a Pokemon and just level up and get my IVs really high. I'm just gonna take the Pokemon approach and oh yes. I'll be Flareon because of the hair. I'll be Flareon. I'm also using her to do all my mischief interactions as part of my career because I am a multitasker and this time we will see who wins this fight. We will see who wins the fight. Oh yes! Okay, that was very triumphant. Very triumphant. Oh my gosh, I, I somehow put the electricity into a hunt. Oh, get into five fights, done. Boom. Okay, brilliant. Oh, and Keenan is a bit occupied. Oh, you gotta go to work this evening? This is where it kind of falls apart when... Oh, you locked in the bathroom. You need to go to work. Go to work. This is when it falls apart a little bit when like, you know, one parent is at home looking... Where are the children? Okay, they're both in bed. I'm just putting it out there. Loved from tucking in a toddler. I completely left Keenan all on his own. And yeah, I come back and the kids are both tucked up in bed with their nightlights on. That is really cute and impressive. And he's like feeling all happy and loved from tucking them in. So it was definitely him that did it, not like some random neighbor. I left them all day to beat up Jill. And 
he's done a great job. I mean, he's left the plates out, but he's done a great job. Okay. Right now, he's looking like the better parent, I'm not gonna lie. Jill, chill, babes. You just need to leave. You don't come into my house and steal my onion bagels or my pancakes. Put the pancakes down. Release the pancakes. They will feed my children. I, geez, I'm actually really impressed. I'm very impressed. But I will say that this is when the system kind of falls apart a bit when I'm outside beating up Jill's and Keenan has to go to work. Oh, I hope you're friends with enemies with Jill. That girl is a jerk. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. I totally agree. Yeah, if I'm out beating Jill's, someone needs to be at home with the toddlers. This is where having a criminal career doesn't always align with being a good parent or ever. <laughs> oh, and I've just remembered. I said I was gonna go see the other Pyregit this evening, didn't I? Tessa. Okay, we'll we'll invite Tessa around. I feel, I'd feel bad not bringing her around. And she's like all adult and grown now, so we'll invite her around for a bit of supper. Oh, and she came with a cocktail. Looks like all the Pyregits grew up really well. She arrived with a cocktail already drunk. Just placed it on my counter. Also, apparently she's into skiing. Uh, I would guess by that outfit. But it's nice to have a friend. I don't think we'll get up to our usual Pyrrhagic's nonsense. Why don't we just watch a movie together? Can we just watch a movie together? Let's watch a cop movie because of the irony. And look at me whipping out my old Pyrrhagic's outfit. Oh my gosh. And I'm meant to go to work now? Okay, Tessa. Tessa, Tessa, Tessa. If you wouldn't mind just looking after the twins. That would be so helpful. I'm so glad you came around. Okay, bye. We are just as annoying to Tessa as ever. She was like, oh my gosh, finally. Finally, I mean, I have to send them to the daycare, but finally, um, they've invited me around. I'm not gonna have to watch them smooching. She wants to watch a movie together. I'm finally gonna get to know Clem. And Clem is like, yeah, about that. <laughs> no, not gonna happen, Tessa. Justice for Tessa. I even switched the movie off before I left. Oh, Tessa. Well, she's like, yeah, I got my pancakes. I'm off to go stare at your weird neighbors. <gasps> On that saving, somebody got a promotion. Who's it gonna be? I think it's Keenan. Keen on fires, also keen on earning for his family as a petty thief. Well done, Keenan. You got some em emblems of espionage. No idea what they are, but well done. Love that. I'm still working hard. I'm hoping I will get a promotion today as well. It could happen. It could definitely happen. <gasps> and immediately comes home to say hi to his babies. What? Honestly. We were like, oh, Keenan is done some more children, will be a terrible father. I mean, he did definitely get pushed into having kids, and I do feel sorry for him for that. But my man is stepping up to the plate. He is stepping up to the plate, probably because he's the whole snack. Yeah, sorry, I just could not resist. Oh, and we got a stinky child. Please, can we wash the stinky child? There we go. Little wash for little Carl in his pajamas. Wait, that did not wash you at all. Oh, it's because he's got a dirty diaper. You've got to sort his diaper out. Oh, and Tessa's come to do odd jobs for us. Maybe she's like the bottom of the gang. So she got oh wow, you do you do not get on that well with Tessa. Oh, <gasps> you and Tessa don't like each other. Ooh, I don't know what's going on there, but Keenan does not like Tessa. Interesting. And yeah, I kind of get the vibe that Keenan's really good at this because he's kind of a big kid himself. Oh, this is cute. I like this. This is very adorable. Okay, and I hope I get home from work soon because we need to take the fox out which feels nonsense. I feel like the fox should go out on its own because it's a fox. But yeah, trying to balance all of this nighttime working is not easy and he's just like yeah you're putting over the cat all over the floor but woo, he's fine it's fine and okay they are both really tired keenan though as well oh and the shower's broken so i've got to replace that which takes away some of that cash and i'm meant to be at home now why am i still at work i do not know oh <gasps> Yes, I am a ringleader. Oh my gosh. I got a duffel of cash and a pickpocket interaction. I can rob folks. Yes, what a beautiful, wholesome day. I can now rob people, which makes me very excited. Okay, Keenan's taking Vixie out. I'm gonna go check our household inventory because we got stuff. I like the idea that we just have like hidden nonsense in our apartment, like a bag of cash and some naughty espionage things as well. Love that. I'm actually gonna go ahead and spend a bit of money in our bedroom because it's looking kind of sad right now because we spend all of the money on the kids. I mean, it is quite a sad bedroom anyway, but I do want to try and add like, I wanna try and make it a little bit nicer over time. And I'm keeping things orange because that is the name of the game. That is the gen that we're on. That is a very orange orange. I feel like orange is one of those colors that's kind of hard to make look nice. It's kind of ugly and intense. I'm gonna sell this because 
I've already got one. And then can I get a nice bed? No. <laughs> okay, I decided to tone down the wallpaper just for the sake of my eyes, really. And go for like orangey without being fully orange. Because it's a bit, it is a bit much. It's intense and it's kind of ugly. It's not my favorite color. But what I'm also going to do is I want to make it look like their room is like a little bit, like all of the effort goes into the kids' room. Like they're not great people. They are literally criminals, but they still care about their kids, you know? So their room looks just a a little bit more wreck, I would say, than the rest of the house. But the kids' rooms always look great. So there we go. Just like a little bit of wreckage. Put a little stain on the floor. Because I think it's possible to be like a criminal and still care about your kids, you know? They don't have to be exclusive. So there we go. Their bedroom's kind of wrecky. $32 now, so that was real small. I think we're working over the weekend though. Yeah, we work every day except from... I get Sundays and Mondays off and Kina gets Sundays off. You guys did say that this career is particularly hard to get to the top of because there's not that many days where you're actually working. So that's probably going to be a bit of a struggle. Uh, why are the children in the hallway? <laughs> Please can we put the children to bed? Also, the thing that I think is going to be completely difficult is the fact that our times... Look, like, it's, it's like 3 a.m. and we're all out and about, like, being wrecks. I feel like the, the fact that we work so late is going to make things really difficult. Like, our time zones are always just going to be so crazy which is gonna make it so difficult to see friends and family and also when our kids are at school like we won't be seeing them that much so oh my gosh she's just coming and fixing up everything for us oh no you're breaking everything and pranking oh okay fair so there we go doing a little bit of a jewel reading to bed session because you know we might be in a leather jacket one percent a motorcycle gang apparently but doesn't mean we can't read my little dinosaur before we go to sleep to our pink haired children. Oh, you're kind of doing like a little bit of a gender reversal thing as well. I like that. Very cute. And all we've got to do for work is mischievous interactions. So that's kind of easy. Oh, and what's going on here? Oh, you're hungry. We've put you to bed without even checking if you'd eaten. Oh, you're both hungry. Oh, okay. Take back everything I said. We are terrible parents. Absolutely god awful. Put our children to bed without even feeding them. Luckily, we've got moldy pancakes and sourdough. Lovely sourdough, enjoy. Oh, and this is broken, and I can't afford to replace it. <laughs> Looks like I'm starting the day the pickpocket way. And oh my gosh, that one just broke too when I put the plate in. Okay, we're doing a lot of pickpocketing. The other thing I kind of like the idea of is because who was born first? Coral, Coral was born first, so he's the older twin. And because he kind of looks worldly, he looks like more like, he's kind of mad, he was born mad, born angry, which I love. I kind of like the idea that he realizes his parents are complete and out of wrecks. So as a result, he tries to like hide the nonsense from his sister and he's very protective of her. I thought that would be very cute. A little bit of a trope, a little bit of like a, oh, we've seen that before, but I don't care, I want to see it again. <laughs> I think it would be really cute and I feel like it fits them quite well. I want them to be close twins. And oh my gosh, great. Grandma with the smackdown. <gasps> Ash texting us. Word on the street is that you've been getting into fights. You better clean up your act or you'll wind up with a terrible reputation. You have upset half alien Ash. Alien Ash who barely understands the mechanics of the world, yet somehow she knows you're still a wreck. Like, that is not good. What is your reputation at currently? Oh, it's not that bad. Ah, oh, we're fine. We're fine. Don't be fine. And look at this, the kids going in at nearly 11 o'clock crying because they're hungry and Keenan and Clem are still sleeping. Oh my gosh. I knew they were probably gonna be quite tragic at this, but somehow they're even more so than I could have ever dreamed of. This is so perfect. Okay, let's make some cheesy bread for breakfast. Cause the priority shouldn't be feeding our children as soon as possible. It should be improving our baking skill. That is where it's at. Oh, and you've got no room now because I put this in here. Okay, why don't we move the bag of cash to the bedroom? Because that's probably... Oh, hello, T-Pose. That's probably more so where you'd want to be hiding your bag of cash. And maybe all of our plans, our evil plans as well, can go in here. I will get a table for them at some point. Just hang out there for now. But don't put that anywhere because <laughs> that cheesy bread you've got to resume. Because we don't be starting any new meals. No, we can't afford it. We can't afford it. Oh, the fridge is broke too. This is Tessa. This is Tessa's doing. This is what she has done. Oh, and one of our neighbors just done. Oh, quick, get out here, get out here, get out here. Quick, 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 quick. Witness death, witness death, witness death. Both of you, witness death. Go, 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 go. Witness death, witness death, witness death. You need this for your aspiration. Did you witness a death? Wow, I've never seen anyone care less. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh no. She's like, oh. I, I, mean, I just really need to wee, but okay, I guess. Wow, the <laughs> that reaction. Oh no, don't let the baby witness death too. She was like, oh no. 
I love that. Look at you, your fake tears now, now that your daughter's here to see it. Uh, you didn't care one bit. We all saw it, okay? But I need them to witness death. Hopefully it's gonna count. We've witnessed a few at this point, but you never know with this game. And I am gonna beat up Tess next. Look what she's done to my house. It smells so bad here. It's because there's a body under the front hallway. Hello? I don't want his urn. Why are you giving that to me? It feels like yours. Get off. Oh. Great, now I've got a stupid urn. Can I sell it? I'm selling your body. Goodbye. I also have this horse. I don't know who gave me it, but I'm gonna sell that so that I can at least repair one thing maybe. No, I still can't repair anything. Okay, great. And are you guys kidding? You're both sat there while your children starve? Oh my gosh, you're so bad at this. I love it. Uh, Grim. Hello, I didn't kill the guy. Get out of my apartment. Stop trying to make me feel bad. <gasps> Dan is calling Keenan. They don't like each other very much, do they? Hmm. He's hot headed. He's a critic at the San Maishuno Times. <gasps> he lives in the city too. No way. He must have moved out. Anyway, there's only been so many hours in a day and there's so many people that I've got a pickpocket. So I am going to get Clem out on the streets doing what she does best, stealing from folks. We need the money to repair things. Like we've not chosen a life of crime deliberately. We've kind of fallen into it and now we're getting deeper and deeper into it. There's not really much we can do. Okay, how do I do it? Because I got pickpocketing. Oh, I got it as a mod, but I actually removed it. However, now I can pickpocket again. How are you gonna do this? I'm kind of interested to know. Okay. Oh, so you go for the hug. And then when you hug them, you rob them. <gasps> $54. This is perfect. Keenan, we can fix our house by stealing. Yay. So much easier than a hard day's work. Anybody else I can steal from? I don't know if I can rob teens. So we won't rob a teenager. Hello, tummy. <gasps> Zach is here. Oh my gosh. Is Zach gonna watch me pickpocket? I feel like that might end that friendship. I could pickpocket Zach. No, people might get suspicious. Okay, that would be bad. That would be a real fall from grace. However, Zach's here. So I'm going to ask him if he wants to hang out because he's in the city with us. Although it's kind of awkward that you and Keenan don't get on, but you were my childhood best friend. We're still like best friends forever. So why don't you come and see our apartment? Glad you're seeing it in such a great state. Love that. I'm going to see if Zach's still dating Clem because my game has an, uh, not Clem, Kami. My game has an annoying way of breaking up people the minute I don't play as them anymore, which is really annoying. Look, it's broken them up. It's like Zach is single. I'm gonna see if you even know who Clem is. Cle Kami, oh my gosh, stop it, Claire. I haven't had the, pr no game, you've got to not do this to me again. You literally cannot do this to me again. They've known each other since childhood and now apparently he doesn't know who she is. That is very annoying. I might have to fix that. I cannot be having that. However, we're gonna bring, uh, oh my gosh, look at this in the apartment. We're gonna bring Zach into this, which I'm sure he's gonna love. And while we're here, we will say, oh, by the way, we're a total criminal mastermind. But I need to do some mischievous extra interactions before work, basically. We're also gonna lie about our career. We're gonna be like, like, no, we're not actually a famous, no, we're not criminals. Definitely not crim no criminals here. No criminals under this roof. None, none whatsoever. It was all just a big frank. It was a big frank. I am actually planning on becoming a famous actress and I could pickpocket him. But instead, because he's my best friend for so long, I don't want to pickpocket him. I'm going to be like, look, clearly things are sort of tough here. Would you mind helping us out? He's given us a small loan. Try and pay it back when you can. Will we ever be able to pay him back? I don't know, but oh, I'm gonna kill Tessa. I'm gonna kill her. We've managed to fix two things, but that is all I can actually fix. I need to change the Paregents to not just be break everything because it's a bit horrible. And I still don't have enough money. This would be the ultimate fall from grace. If I pickpocket Zark, who's just give me $500. I don't know if I can do that to him. The thing is, I know he would forgive me, but that's why I can't do it. I'm gonna have to go to work with only 70% of my mischievous interactions done because I can't pickpocket Zark. I just can't do it to him, guys. There's no way. Not yet, at least. Maybe when I become more desperate, yeah. Oh, look at him cleaning our whole apartment. And who's just weed themselves? Oh my God, this is what I mean. Literally, the kids are portraying themselves. Keenan's weeing on the floor. Like... Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Look at Zach just being like, oh my gosh, this is just so sad to see. They are a complete state. He's there cleaning. He's wiping off Keenan's wee. I can't. I literally can't. I can't. Oh my gosh. Oh man. Bless him. You don't meet many men like Zach. He is a one of a kind. And Tessa, my acquaintance was telling me how much they dislike you. Try being a little nicer. Being disliked is a slippery slope. Okay, at least we know why she decided to break our whole apartment then. Because she clearly secretly hates us. I guess you're getting kicked out the Paregents. And I will never start another gathering at the house. Because that is a... 
bad idea. Stop wrecking stuff. Ty though is like, oh, I heard you got promoted. Do you know what I do? <laughs> should you really be congratulating me on this? I don't know if you should. Okay, there is a mod I used to use that let you select your babysitter. Does that mod still work? Does anyone use it? Because what I would like to do is these guys are working at the same time. They're both doing that good old 8 p.m. to 4 a.m. shift. Well, 3 a.m. in Clem's case. I would like the babysitters to be people they know, like Ash and Cam and Tyler and Zach. Is there a way for me to do that? Please let me know in the comments below because if I'm inviting a babysitter around, I would like it to be like a familial link. You're gonna have to go to work, stink, because you decided to wait yourself. Oh, because you couldn't pee. When you get back home from work, immediately we're gonna have to go to fixing everything in the apartment. Another major setback in our lives. I have to go now. Try not to miss me too much. See ya. We do miss you, Zach, because no, 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 don't stop, stop repairing. You might get electrocuted. No, oh, I shouldn't have said that. I should have not have said that. That was an error. Cause look, Marley Milner is wanting to come and hang out. I don't know how you guys know each other, but whatever. That's kind of weird. Oh, <gasps> no way. No way. So Marley Milner is Ty, who is Clem's biological father. It's his wife. That's Keenan's aunt. They don't share any DNA because Clem isn't related to Marley, but still. That's kind of weird. I did not realize that. Okay, new things happening all the time in this episode. Cause like, look, she's coming around. She could babysit then. Yeah, you could babysit and you guys are heading to work. And now is where like, I've got to send him to daycare. I would so much rather hire a nanny. <gasps> no, why didn't you not go to work? Go to work, you fool. Why did it bring her home? Oh, I hate that. Oh, it bugged out and brought them back from daycare. But I should be at work right now. That's lowered my job performance. That's really annoying. And I only earned $1. That's even more annoying. Oh well, at least I get to read Coral sleep. I need to get a bowl for Vixen. Oh man, I was really hoping to complete the next part of that aspiration today, but the game bugs really just said no to me, didn't they? Oh, I wanna buy an auto feeder cause I'm awful at this, but I can't afford one. So let's fill this and call Vixen to eat. And then hopefully, Keenan, please work hard. I need you to get a promotion and oh, He's searching for a prime pickpocket in Target on the train platform. He spots a well-known actress and that's her bodyguard. Is it worth trying to pickpocket her? She might be too high profile a Target. Most people would keep walking, but Keenan is an Egypt. So I think he would go for it. He asks for an autograph while begging the bodyguard to snap a photo. Mid snapshot, he snatches the wallet unseen. Who deserves the acting award now? Yes, keen on fires. Also keen on robbing. Love that for you. Good job, good job. Well done. A Samata person wouldn't have even gone for that, but they wouldn't have not got the $50. And that means now I can afford. No, no, it does not mean I can afford to replace the shower, it turns out. Can I report to it? Yes. We at least have a toilet in the apartment, so well done, Keenan. Your Robin has got us a brand new toilet. And now that you're back home, wait, where's my money? Pay me. Okay, the $91. You got paid $91? I can't replace a shower with $91? You are gonna have to go on a hand washing mission. How did you only get paid $91? That is disgusting. That is despicable. And also the apartment's freezing because it's tired snowing. Do you think we can afford thermostats and central heating? Nah, no, no, no. And time for my daily baking at 5am. Like I said, they've got an awful sleep schedule. Peanut butter cookies. That should, she's got woken up with a junk food craving. So that should sort that out. And it's that nutritious breakfast. Poor quality peanut butter cookies. I am such a great mother. And with that out of the way, it's time to go to my usual favorite thing to do each day, pickpocket, to try and fix my apartment. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Ash is kind of mad at us and Ash is like our fave ever. So I'm gonna invite Ash around to the apartment. And oh, I am that lechy family member. I am that family member that asks everyone for money. That is what we've become. That is exactly what we are, but we're gonna ask Ash for a loan, which we probably will never pay back because it's kind of the reputation we're setting for ourselves. Uh, Blossom, you've got a stink diaper, please sort that out. Oh, bless her. The first thing Ash does, she immediately comes in and fixes the TV. Like, if other NPCs do it, I won't stop them. I just won't let, like, mine do it. World's best grandmother. <gasps> That's what their relationship is. That's so freaking cute. Okay, so she's come to eat some of our garbage cookies. Obviously, you can see things here are quite tragic. We'll talk about some memories. This is harsh, but she's talking about some memories to, in order to get that little guilt the little guilt going. And also we're like, oh, it's so cold and I can't, I have no way to heat the children. And I feel like Ash would just be like, oh my gosh, you like, stop. You don't need to do this. I, if you need money, I will help you. <gasps> and she did, she gave us 500 pounds. Bless her. Okay, who fixed the shower? Better not have been you, Keenan. That is against the rules. Not allowed to do that. As a result, I will, oh geez, can I repair it? Can I not repair this? 
What is with this unrepairable unit? I can't afford to replace that. I'll hire a repair service and then we'll pay to get it fixed instead. That will be half to, how we have to do it. But since Ash will probably outlive us all, children, you should meet Ash. You should totally meet Ash. I don't know if Keenan knows Ash either. Yeah, you should do an introduction to Ash too. Oh, and the little kids love her. Both coming in. Oh, you've got a stink diaper again? What are we feeding you? Because I swear we're feeding you nothing, but... Oh, they're showing toys to her. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. Get out of the way, though. The repairman needs to come by. Thank you. I want them to have a really good relationship with her in the same way that Clem did. I think that would be really cute. Okay, we've got work again this evening. I just want to see if I can get that next bit of the aspiration done by a good day at work. The kids still have three days till aging up, so we'll probably do that in the next episode. And the kids are so cold. Everyone's like, Ash is still wearing her outdoor clothes inside. It is an expense, but I feel like Ash has given us the money to heat our children. So I am going to buy like a little essential heating for the house. I don't know how often we'll be able to have it on, but maybe just during the daytime when the kids are cold, we'll put it on. We do care about the children and I want Ash to see that. It's not as bad as it looks, okay? It's not as bad as it looks. <gasps> no, no freaking way. No, no. Are you joking me? There is no way this is happening. You were supposed to live forever. Don't just step over a body. This isn't a prank. Ash has died? No. No, 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 no. Ash cannot die. Ash cannot die. Ash lives forever. Ash lives forever. Ash is the new James. You can't do this to me. I'm gonna beg for her. Okay, we definitely witnessed death. I just didn't want it to be this one. Please, you can't. It's Ash. It's Ash. You can't do this. Please, 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 please. No. I thought Ash had so much longer. I thought Ash had like 50 days left. Oh my gosh, no. We've lost Ash. I'm so glad the baby's got to at least meet her, but I can't believe that's happened. Keenan, you've got to get them out of here. They can't be here seeing this. And my game just crashed. Are you kidding me? My game just crashed. Okay, I will replay everything that we just did offline to off camera to get to that point again. But that is what happened. Update Twins appearance. A few promotions in the criminal career. I robbed somebody, but not Zach. I didn't rob Zach. And Ash died. And then my game died. Pretty eventful times for us all. So let me know what you think about the update twins appearances. I will catch up to everything that we've just done. That's so freaking annoying though. And I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching this train wreck. Goodbye.